two, artist in recovery. Morning, Daryl. It's 3.58 in the morning, West Coast time for Monday the 28th of October, 2024. On the waiver, John C. of Rosemont, California. Uh, screw the other intros. I was trying to stay the hell away from this stuff because I know it's acid reflux. It's a nightmare situation getting closer and closer. And now we got the fear level increasing right now. I just got the video of Hinchcliffe. They got it out there in the tube. And I was listening to part of it while looking at the uh, Google search. Actually, Yahoo search on this asshole. I didn't see any other kind of work out there yet on him that would have made him qualified to be under Trump's viewpoint, unless, of course, he was already in those areas proving the point of Trump and his ilk being that totally screwed up in the head. And believe me, I've got a town out here that's, that's that way too, most of them. A lot of keyboard warriors are still doing the Trump crap. But the thing is, you don't see it on the outside. The thing about racism, you don't see it on the outside unless, of course, you're looking at the people with the attitudes. If they're going to be blatant about it, they're not showing it. And those who are wearing the maggot hats out there, to me it's almost the equivalent of a brown shirt and jack boots. Might as well wear them. But without the masks on. Almost similar to uh, back in the 1800s, right after the Civil War. You got a mask of hatred, throw a sheet over your head. This is blatant. There is a video out there regarding Trump's tossing, tossing the paper towels at the Puerto Ricans. Guardian News has got it, and I've already sent it over to you. I'm going to keep this for myself as well because I need it for my own records. It's a short clip from the Guardian News, and I'm keeping it in my own history because... Oh, there's also CNN as well. So. Now they were saying, in in different viewpoint, uh, different news is that uh, this was all AI. We didn't see the AI out there several years ago. It wasn't becoming prevalent or popular. What the hell are they talking about? We both know better on this shit. I know we both know better. Technology keeps improving itself, but I haven't heard the AI out there. Talks of it, yeah, but actually working on it? You know, people uh, still think that uh, the lunar landing was also uh, special effects in AI. There was one uh, clip who was, dis uh, who was uh, discounting it by showing them the, the, the uh, computer graphics of 1983 and that was the start of it. They were showing uh, Money for Nothing from Dire Straits. So I know these people are full of shit. You know, I listened to Tony until I couldn't listen to that asshole no more. But there's also another link I'm putting into my own, and I've also shared it with yours on yours. A gentleman I found that's similar in our viewpoints. He went to the rally. He wanted to see what was going on. 
And when Trump started doing his diatribe, he couldn't stand the orange gas bag. He walked out during the first few minutes of it. But he caught he caught Miller's bullshit, and he caught Hinchcliffe's bullshit, and he really couldn't sit, be he's sick of it. MSNBC and CNN are having a field day over this. They really are. They're tearing this damn thing apart. From three o'clock to four to uh, almost five o'clock this morning, they're just going after it, left and right. But I hear in the local news, baseball fever is the one catching people's attention. Who cares about what's happening? Trump tried to pull back. His campaign tried to pull back on this shit. But you did have Republicans out there who are going to get a field day over this shit. Rick Scott, Desposito, Salazar, they're going to get their asses kicked on it by the, by the voters, unless they've got voters giving them kudos on this one. In Puerto Rico, they're not even representative, but they are U.S. territory. We always wanted these guys to be part of a state here, but I guess there was a lot of pushback. Maybe. we get Harris to even get this idea going. How about making them another state? 51st state. Why not? My dog's waking up. She was stressing last night. I had to get her settled down so I could get her maybe a couple hours of sleep. Today I got to deal with my own little things to deal with. I mean, I'll keep the political crap going on. I'll talk to the bug spraying guy and also the maintenance. We we all feel that Trump's an asshole anyway. At least that's what they think. And I hate to pull up race at this point. It's usually just... But this time, I've got a Latino who's doing the bug spraying. And I've got... A nearly a Latino who is maintenance. And they're cool people. I like them. The maintenance guy used to work for Orkin. And we talk. Not just about bugs either. We talk. So he's good people, I think. While the Trump team may try to protect their ass, the damage is already out there. They're already political fodder and they know it. So they're going to be doing the, the statements, but their own audience laughed at the joke. <sighs> so this is going to be fodder for a hell of a long while until we get to the election and then afterwards it's going to be fodder because after the election happens it's going to be we're going to have more of the attacks happening or we're not going to have any more of the attacks and this is what scares me yeah yeah it, it does scare me I try not to be afraid of the damn thing because I don't want the damn thing here I don't want it here but it doesn't matter what I want. It's a reality right now. I did my part already. I voted. I voted the bastard out anyway. And I voted for her to get in. That'll tell you something. And I did it the way that Trump didn't like. Mail it. Some of the people out here don't like it either. Oh, they keep trying to bellyache about it on the YouTube too much. No, no, it's not on the YouTube. It's the Facebook pages that they use on a constant basis. And they'll, somebody will do a posting and then 
all the shit comes out. I'd like to see Puerto Rico becoming a 51st. Why not? We already took care of an island a long time ago. And now we got in the Pacific. We already had a food company coming in, apparently, according to some videos out there. It took over Hawaii first. If Cook hadn't discovered Hawaii or the Polynesian, they would have been left to their own. But, as it turned out, Cook visited them. Discovered them. They've got one little island. And the Hawaiian island changed there, dude. That's completely for Hawaiians. Speak it. Uh, culture is there. Very limited technology. They do have power. But they don't allow anybody on there except for true Hawaiians. They want to preserve their culture as best as they can. So nobody goes over there to take a look. It's taboo. Much like there's something of a taboo in New York Harbor. There's an island that's not even inhabited except for birds and life forms over there, but they made it into a sanctuary. Nobody's allowed to go on a damn thing. It's trespassable. So, that's something. We don't even have that out here in California. I <laughs> mean, we've got islands out off the coast of, of California, but... One is truly inhabited, which is Catalina, and the other one's San Clemente, and that's not, not much. But how he's going to do it, I don't know. Now, there are stories coming up on CNN concerning about deep fake videos out there. This will be something. And we're still going through the Middle East War. You know, this whole damn thing is scary and terrifying. As it, Well, it, they're synonyms to fear. We have a hell of a lot of fear in this election cycle than we did last time. We had a little bit of hope when we had Biden coming in office. But he was dealing with a hostile Congress, the reps versus the Senate. We did get some stuff passed. But now we got Harris coming in. And we've got more pushback. And you hadn't even noticed about the damn... Uh, you hadn't mentioned it about the billionaires pushing back against Harris at this point. They're scared of Trump. You talk about the fear level bumping up this high. They're not even... They weren't even afraid of, of Biden... When he got into office the first time? The only time. I don't see Harris wooing these guys. They're afraid if Trump gets the votes, they're in for it. It's not taxing. It's something else that he's going to go after. And they're afraid. They don't want to go against him. The guys are owning the media? They don't want to push. Washington Post, L.A. Times, both powerhouses on each coast. And these guys are terrified. They're shitting in their pants. How the hell did this asshole get so much power? How did the people actually lined up for this asshole? Are we doing the elitism versus the commoners? Is that it? I mean, yeah, you're, you, we've got too much divisiveness right now as it is. And we're showing it more and more. 
But the thing of it is, in our own history, in our country, we've had it. We've had it. We had this European crap going on. The the manifest. Oh God, what the hell was that? The manifesto. No, 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 no. Manifest destiny. That was it. Manifest destiny. We are the conquerors. We're coming over. You don't like it? Tough shit. Push your ass out. They did that to the Native Americans. They were doing it to the conquering empires that were over there in those days. Pushing them out. We get the colonies set up. We want it our way. And we're going to be taking on England. And we did. Twice. And then we kept pushing. We're building up more and more steam. We want more territory. We're pushing more and more of the Native Americans away. There was even talk in history, if I'm not mistaken, we were going to be going after Canada. If not Mexico. And we did have a Mexican-American war. Thank God it wasn't in our lifetime, though. But still, still... See, I even have a problem with the American way. We're the conquering assholes. We are the new Roman Empire of sorts. My observation. Am I trying to understand history and trying to put it into some kind of context and perspective I can understand? We're another empire. Among other superpower empires. We hadn't conquered the world yet. We still want ours. But as I was trying to in indicate in one of the videos to you and to others, you know, this is going that this is going public, that I just got the headline of CNN. Iran vows to respond to Israeli strike. Says does not seek war. Bullshit. They're already in one. They just don't want to see it. They've already been in a war. War words. Now they're now they're trading blood for blood. That's a scary thing right there. We had the protests going on in our colleges left and right, in public institutions, and now they're getting they're getting targeted left and right because they dared to vow. They vowed to bring this issue forth to push the, the elected leaders to calm this shit down in the Middle East. And they have. They're, they're, they haven't done it enough. Or if any. We're going to get into a world war. That's another thing that scares the shit out of me right there. And if Trump's in there, he's going to support it. It's bad enough Harris is going to be in there and she's going to be supporting Israel because this is what we do. This is what allies do. We'll disagree with them, but we'll still support the shit out of them. Okay, fine. Just tell them to back off on the damn weaponry. But Iran and Israel are locked head to head. And we're going to have death and destruction in there. That wasn't bad enough. Putin's going to be laughing his ass off in the Middle East. In the Ukraine situation, is bringing in North Korea. Now, my question to you, you probably ever, never answer these damn things, but I'm pushing it to you anyway, asshole. Yeah, I did call you an asshole this one because you never respond to me all that much. I'm a little miffed about that one. So if you would take the time out in your busy schedule to maybe answer or something here. Now, you made, now I've made myself forget the damn question. What's more important priority right now? The World War III that we're coming and facing up that we can't see? Or the internal politics and the internal civil war that's going to be breaking apart our country left and right? You already know about the divisiveness happening throughout. If you studied history, we already had been a divided country. If you had taken the classes I'd taken, or even picked up a few books, you may have gotten the idea that we are totally divisive. 
we're still reliving the Union versus the Confederacy. Only the Confederacy is now the maggots, and the Union is still trying to still bring us together. No wonder Lincoln had issues over us back then. But if he happened to see it today, oh my God. I don't know what his response would have been. So, yes. And now Trump's bullshit, his truth social, is kicking into overdrive and, and doubling up and tripling up its value. How about that one? If we're not in for it this morning, I don't know what the hell we're in for. See, I don't do the small ones anymore. We're in it right now as it is. And I don't know how the hell we're going to get out of this damn shit. They say one day at a time. A day seems to be too damn long. A minute at a time is too damn long. How about a second at a time? We'll talk more. Meanwhile, there's a certain pastor out right there I'd like to introduce you to. Reverend Ed Trevers, you need to listen to him. You do.